Hey guys, Mikasan here with more Ruby Volume 5 Reaction. This is Chapter 5, and already the title, I do not like where this is going, just, just by the title. This is Necessary Sacrifice. And we've got those two douchebag faunuses that always like, to, in a prayer form? Yeah, they're in the thumbnail here, so... Worry! Before I begin, though, I would like to say a small apology to Rooster Teeth because, okay, um, last week, as I was recording that yeah, last week, because yeah, that was yeah, my reaction to Chapter Four came out at eleven o'clock, which it's typical. Uh, that's when Ruby re Ruby reactions co Ruby comes out on YouTube for the public. B but you know, I forgot the fact that daylight savings time, which means, yeah, now it, now all the episodes come out at twelve. I did not. I completely forgot about this because we don't have daylight savings time here in Puerto Rico. No real need for it. I mean, I know why daylight saving time was made, and considering it's hot year round, sunny. There's no need for it, so we don't have it here, so my, my bad, but yeah, now these episodes, these reactions will come out at 12 o'clock. Until they like the things time's over. So, now that I've excused myself enough, let's just get on with this. Again, people, phone, can't help it. Back to the fairy tale, back to the show, back to the wall, then there's nowhere to go. Oh, this is fast, pretty... Let's see, damn it! They're weak and they're bound to get worse! Yeah, so I gotta work on the lyrics. I'm... I'm getting better! I'm getting better! No way to win. <laughs> I love Nora. That's when you learn you've been messing with Faye. Faye, Rudy, Faye, Ah, Slim, damn Hmm. I won't die. <coughs> oh boy. Mm. It is away the cheerful day, supreme back what is lost. The rain for years of yesteryear. Carry on. I I'm mixing up my lyrics big time. Real indoor. No destroys. Ah. The star triumph will be our. Ah. <laughs> Shit. I should just get my fucking full quarter replaced. <clears throat> okay, we're back in menagerie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that! A lot. It's like fins on her on the uh, arm. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, nothing gonna happen. Haven defenders. No, I mean, I don't blame them. They don't want to take sides. It's like we got our work cut out here, so. Okay. Oh. Yeah. It's like we get what you're saying, I mean but these the humans still so I don't get it. Do nothing. How can they just sit around and do nothing with the white bang getting ready to 
attack. Because not everyone is like you and me. The farmers here on Menagerie, the ones that weren't born on the island, moved here because they were tired of fighting, of having to struggle constantly. Menagerie is filled with people that just want to be left alone. Yeah. <laughs> here we are. I'll be honest, I'll be one of those guys. Yeah, yeah, it's a little... Yes. Ha! Sorry, forget I brought it up. No, it's okay. Have you ever met someone and thought to yourself, they are the personification of this word? Uh... Okay, well, I remember getting to know Ruby and thinking, this girl is the embodiment of purity. A purity, yeah. After a while, I saw Weiss was defiance, and Yang was strength. Yeah. <laughs> I'm leaning towards Ernest. Ernest. Aww. <laughs> Cute. So much history here. My parents tried to get me to leave with them, but I refused. I had Adam and Ilya, after all. You know we're going to have to face her eventually. I love the expressions. So, what are you going to do? I'm going to try and help her the way you helped me. You showed me that sometimes you need to be there for a friend, even when they don't want you to be. I was drowning in guilt and fear. I tried to push you away, but you... I'm proud of you, Blake. So sweet. Hey, Oscar. You're really getting better, huh? Oh, boy. It's almost dinner time. Uh, yeah. That sounds good. I was about to call it a night anyway. Ha. <laughs> so, you've never fought before? Just the occasional small grip. Oh, God. Like this, though. Rose Garden oh, Chippers are going crazy right now. Okay. I feel like I've had it for a, a few weeks. Uh, you sound like a crazy person. We got a little pattern of time here now. Yeah. Just a little. yeah. But at this pace, you'll be combat ready in no time. Oh, Penny. Can 
going to kill you. The world's about to go to war all over again. How are you okay with any of this? Yeah. This is, he was. He needed to let go. Oh boy, yeah. I didn't think about them every day since I lost them. We well, still think about them. I more time with them. If it had been me instead, I know they would have kept fighting too. No matter how dangerous it was. So that's what I choose to do. <sighs> to keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Oh god. Come on. If we don't hurry, Nora's gonna eat everything. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time. Yeah. <laughs> Okay then. So it's these guys, huh? Someone still what? What?
Of course. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to kill her himself. The people of Menagerie will come to understand what happens to those who speak out against the Oh, great. Terror tactics. Fear. You become the fucking empire. If I hear you say those words one more time. You are just as liable to get sacrificed! She's right to worry about the citizens. It's possible they may come to see Kira as a martyr. It is the risk we must take for our high leader. I will not allow them to ruin this! The Belladonna name has brought me nothing but grief! Go, go, go. He's got doubt. For now, huh? Okay, these guys are applying their own little agenda here, obviously. Okay, new character introduced. He's got Batwing, it's pretty cool. I miss his name though, so I'll go back. Yes. Let me go back here. Brother, you Yuma. Yuma. Okay. Obviously, these guys, those two dickwads, in a way, think they have control of the White Fang. At least in the shadow. The way they talk about, the way they talk about how Adam is good for now means that they have planned to have him replace at one point. Once they think like, okay. You have lived out your usefulness, your usefulness, you're gone. That's what I think. And if I hear them say necessary sacrifice one more time. Dun 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 <sighs> Now There we go, sorry. Now <laughs> Excuse me. I'm not at all surprised that um, none of you in Menagerie wanted to join up. I mean, hell, uh, Blake pretty much said it herself. Like, why not? Because so yeah, they just want to get away with the fight and want to live. But in a way, they think that they won't be affected. They are. The thing is, they are affected when Haven fell. Not, not Haven, my bad. When Beacon fell, in a way, they were affected. And now, if Haven falls, well, the effect's gonna be far, far bigger, far greater. The nice, we had a nice little scene with Oscar and Ruby, and just yeah, I mean, Ruby's terrified, but she's learned in a way to sort of like. Not deal, actually, a bit deal with it, but more cope with it. Like, 
Just think back as to what Penny and what Pierre would want. And in a way, see, the, and not let that cl and still look at the big picture. If Salem wins, that's it for everyone. In a way, she she had to sacrifice her innocence, her purity. Oscar has to sacrifice. His, like, just simple life's a farmhand, and... <sighs> it's a lot to take in. And now we got... Adam Torres. I got a promise to keep. He's either talking about his own personal promise to kill Blake, or... After he's killed everything she's loved, or it involves Salem. I think it's personal here. I think it's just he wants to kill Blake himself after killing everything. This guy has gone beyond Spike. He's just a monster at this point. And Ilya is like, wake up, girl! Okay? You are just as easily an unnecessary sacrifice as the Belladonna as everyone else. I'm pretty sure they would kill a lot of people in Menagerie. Make it look like, I don't know, the humans do it just to gain their way. I mean, they just pretty much said, like, if they cross Adam or White Fang right now, then they will know what it's like, what the consequences are. <laughs> That's Empire! Like Star Wars the Empire here, like the freaking Tarkin Doctrine. I've been I've been watching a lot of Star Wars. A lot of Star Wars stuff here. But same thing really. That's a dictatorship. Dictatorship. You you cross us, you try to defy us. Well, we're gonna tell you, we're gonna show you why it's a very bad idea. Oh boy. Get, get, the get, uh, Blake's father must have no must no it isn't gonna happen. I mean, come on. I mean, well, this is what the White Fang has become. I don't even think Sienna Khan, for what little we've known her, would agree with this. I mean, you kill fathers who disagree with you. Literally, Adam is embodying the worst traits, the worst rumors, everything people feared about the White Fang, and pretty much fawns in general in the past. Adam's embodying, it's like, I'm gonna be that. <laughs> I'm gonna be what you guys always feared and hated, and voila. Seriously, I, I just think back to... His claim, like, we're the, the fawn of dominant species. Where the fuck is your proof on that? I mean, where... Give me a census on num how many humans there are in comparison to fawn it, okay? I'm sorry, okay, but... Yeah, this is getting... Kind of intense. It's like, all the ingredients to make a big, fat atom bomb is gathering together... And being shipped to Haven. Can we get some happy back here? I mean, they keep saying they get darker and darker. I remember this, but I want some happy back. I want a good ending to a chapter, to a volume. Well, everyone, that's it for that. Uh, thank you for watching this reaction, and my god. Comment below what you all thought, like and subscribe for more videos, and until the next one, this is Mekasan, logging out.